Welcome everybody, Zeptrosity here, and it's time for some more modded Skyblock with the Agrarian Skies Hardcore Quest mod pack. Yes. Oh man, I am just super duper addicted to this. Oh, I, I've told you guys that already, but I just cannot express how addicted I am to this. I've been wanting to pump out more episodes, but I've been trying to refrain from doing so, so that I don't spam all these videos out but anyways um, in that time I've been doing a lot of reading into the mods and stuff and doing a lot of off-camera work as you can see I've moved all the th all our chests igneous extruder barrels furnaces and uh, tinkers construct stuff over here and that just makes it a lot easier to access everything now there are a few cool tips you guys gave me and I was looking into some stuff and there are some really awesome things. Look at all that iron. I've got three uh, faucets here so I can get ingots uh, three times as fast which is awesome. Look at that aw awesome iron right there. Here are some of the ores I've got. I've been just um, sorting things out using these quick um, uh, sorting tools. I just middle mouse button like the pick block command here. That, that one right there with with your scroller key, you just click that, and that's how I sort things out super quickly. Pretty cool, there's this also really neat thing I learned, is that if I scroll, like use my scroller mouse like on my hotbar, if I scroll on an item, look look at that, I get, I get some of the item and I can scroll back down and I can return the item, whoop whoop, that is so cool, that is pretty awesome. Um, another cool thing is if I hold spacebar and click, um, what, what, I think I click an item. Yeah, it moves everything up into my inventory, so I have an empty hotbar, and I can move my, some of the stuff back down, except for it's really unorganized. And let me just get my stuff back. I have no idea which order it was in, but, uh, whatever. That's, th there we are, that's good enough. Um, what was there? Oh, there's the, there's also, um, control, shift, and click, and it does the same as a, a hold, double click right there. Um, oh, is that not, is that not in the... Huh. Huh. I thought that would work. The... Ho hold the item and then... D d what? Does that not work? Wait, let me try again. Huh. Maybe it doesn't work. Okay, that's weird. Huh. Alright. Whatever. Um, but anyways, I've been trying to gather up more resources using our autonomous activator here. To get another emerald. Finally I got one. And now I have enough to make a, another autonomous activator. And we're going to get into that. Because there's actually another cool way we can automate this um, system here. Which is really simple. Uh, let's see. What other cool things have I done? Oh, oh. This, this, uh, I've got my pan of destiny here. It's now skill level master. It doesn't have the XP thing anymore. So it looks like I have fully mastered this pan of destiny. So it's got auto repair 2. Bane of Arthropods and Beheading. Now, I know what the first two do, but Beheading, I think that's when I can get mob heads from killing these mobs here. So that's pretty cool. Um, yup, 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 take all the items. I've got barrels here, finally. That's so useful. Got barrels here too. Um, yeah, oak barrels here, and these are better barrels. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting confused there. Alright, I found this mossy cobblestone here, and I was like, what? What's going on here? Something must be crazy. And I realized that it's because I've been putting water into these barrels, and when it rains, there's water that goes into here. And oak uh, um, barrels filled with water will actually uh, make uh, cobblestone turn into moss stone. So that's awesome. And what we can use moss stone for is if we look at that in the um, in here, we can see the uses. We can use it to make this stuff called ball of moss. And you use that in Tinker's Construct to um, upgrade your tools with uh, auto repair. So that would be really cool. So that's another cool thing. Um, there's an also this other cool thing. Man, I've just found so many cool things today. And um, let's see here. So someone said something about hooking up a timer to this guy. And it should um, go faster. I tried using a comparator clock, but it just didn't really work out. Uh, it didn't seem to do much of a difference. All we can really do is add more autonomous activators to the thing. Um, let's see here. What was I, I need some iron here. Uh... Uh, five should be enough. Now there's this thing here called a dolly, and this is, I think it's either part of open blocks or extra utilities. Now, I think extra utilities and open blocks are my new two favorite mods, mods because they add so many cool new things. Alright, how do, how do I make craft this? Let me look into it. Alright, it's called a dolly here, and we craft it, oh, okay, it's the other way around. Not all that wood, um, we do it like, oh, do I? Oh, wait, no, I have enough iron. Whew, good. And this thing is pretty awesome. What I can do is I can lift up entire chests 
and stuff and keep them uh, keep all the contents in them without having to break them so for example I have a chest over here you know I've got stuff in it oh Oh, oh dang, dang it, didn't mean to do that. I have a chest full of stuff here. I, I, I want to transfer that over, but I don't want to break it, get all the stuff, then go back there, then replace all the stuff. I can use the dolly, right click, pick it up, as you can see it's full, and I can go along, I've got like s slowness and mining fatigue with this guy, but um, I can walk along, transfer this item all the way over here while keeping all the stuff in the inventory, and I can just come along here, can I sprint? Ah, this is so slow but um, yeah this is just to prevent you from carrying full entire chests with you and then we can just uh, plop it down somewhere let's put it right there and then we have our chest with all our stuff in it so that's awesome that is going to be super useful when transferring items especially with today because I would like to rebuild our mob spawning you can see those right there those wisps I hate them I really really hate them and it's because if we look here our biome. Plains, 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 river, 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 plains, magical forest. And this is the evil that is brought to our mob spawner. Our mob spawner is half in a uh, magical forest biome, which is why we're getting all these weird mobs. And I don't like that. I would like to completely redo this because another thing is endermen. Endermen, I would like to, this to be an endermen uh, farm as well, because endermen uh, are a perfect resource for this thing called an ender generator which you can craft like so not too hard and with the ender generator we can produce so much energy energy from one day one ender pearl can give 80 rf per tick so that's how many per second like uh well they're 20 ticks in a second is it is that right i'm not i'm not too sure so that's like 1.6 uh, 1.6 thousand yeah that's right 1600 um uh R rf per per second i think that's right yeah I, I i think that's right that's a lot actually that is a lot and that would be perfect to run all our machines with so i would like to get that sorted that would be awesome and there's also one more thing i must do okay so there are actually two things i lied um first off let's see here i've got some more said Bricks, yeah, I need, let's see, how much do I need? One, two, three, four, yeah, that's how much I need. And we can upgrade to a tool forge, I think. Now, these require two blocks of an, a metal, and I think you can use it for any type of metal. Um, it doesn't seem to appear on not enough items, but I think there's a chance I can use some tin. I've got a lot of tin, so we can use some tin blocks, and we do it, uh, wait, we need our, um, our tool station here. Alright, we're going to upgrade it to a tool forge because there's a certain tool I want to make with it. With a tool forge here, and is that how you do it? Oh, dang it, we can't use tin. Oh, we're going to have to use something fancy. We're going to have to use one of these. Ugh, that's annoying. I thought you I thought you could use any of these. I think um, with agrarian skies, they changed it a bit, which is annoying. But, oh, what's this? A tool station? But, like, it's a slab version. Cool, alright, whatever. We'll put that back there. Unfortunately, that is not going to work, but there's another item we can make, which is called a crescent hammer. And the crescent hammer is cool. It's like, it's a thing that can, um, let's see, what, we can, sh uh, like, uh, well, uh, let's just right click. I think we can, like, switch orientations of things and stuff. Yeah, look at that. See, now we can switch that all the way around, and that's pretty cool. And yeah, that's pretty awesome. So that's awesome. I don't know why it looks so weird and run down like that. Maybe I need to take that out. L oh look, it's going again. Very cool. Um, I'll keep that there. And that could be that could come on really handy later on. So that's awesome. Now there's this other thing here, and it's um, this here is a portable tank, and I've just put in some lava here. Now I've no idea how to take this thing. I'm going to use the dolly. It's just a lot easier to transfer this stuff. Oh, I can't use even use that. Can I use this crescent hammer? Oh, output, input, um, I, I have to, I'll have to look into how to transfer this thing, but I can carry, like, some liquids and, you know, transfer them around a lot easier than just having to, you know, do all that stuff. So, I'm gonna have to look into how you transfer these guys, but, um, I recently installed the, wait, no, it's not here, um, let's see here, the camera studio mod. And since this is modded, yeah, we got to add a few more extra mods, and this one will just allow me to make some awesome time lapses, and that's what I want to do. I would like to tear this down, 
all of this and rebuild a mob supporter, maybe more over this way, more closer to the island and stuff. I want to, you know, try and build away from this island. Um, I want to keep this island here, maybe build like a nice monument and garden around here, but uh, have most of our base away from here. Now, I was also talking about a storage system around here as well, but I realized that there is a mod, like a storage mod, and this is crazy. It's called Applied Ener Energetics. So this is the Applied Energetics, and it's got this thing called the ME system, which stands for Matter Energy. And how it works is it's like a computer, basically. We could set up like a big server of some sort with all these computer parts and stuff, and uh, we put our items into it, and it transfers the items into like data, computer data, which is kind of weird because this game is computer data. Anyways, um, we turn all the stuff into computer data and that means we can access the chest from anywhere. So we can put cobblestone into our uh, server system and then over here we might have another access to our server system, open it up and we can access all our items too. And there's some also some really cool things. We can transfer things around like we could get items coming from here, go make it go to our server system and have auto crafting stations and stuff, make it go somewhere else and it would be really really crazy. So I think that's how we're going to go with our storage system. That's going to be really cool. So um, I think some of these storage ideas would be more for like this kind of system set up here, which we should actually make before I go into uh, breaking that down and making a new mob farm, which I'll have to do with the camera studio mod because some people really want, and uh, Niels in fact, <laughs> he really wants to see some time lapses. So. Let's see here. So I've got, uh, I have enough to make another autonomous activator here, and I'll do that really quickly. And there we are, our autonomous activator. Nice. So the reason we have another, can I, okay, go rid of that after I exited the crafting window. So we have our autonomous activator here, and now we can do something even better than um, having a pulverizer. This is going to be energyless. So how we're going to do this is we're going to get uh, my bucket here and we're going to get a hopper here and um, alright so what's the orange here? The orange is the output uh, I believe blue is more input I think and orange is more output so we're going to have blue there have our a hopper there and we're going to have cobblestone that will funnel into here and that uh, I mean gravel now, how we're going to do this is we're going to have another autonomous activator right there. Now, let's see here. We don't really need a... Oh, uh, we could get an input going. Maybe at the top here. Um, input, input. What's that? that that's input. And we'll have some, like, uh, what, what should I call it? It's hammers. We'll put hammers in here. And we'll set that so that it will hammer some cobblestone into gravel and the gravel will go into here and then it will continue sif sifting all that. So to get the uh, cobblestone in front of this guy, we're going to build a cobblestone generator. The, you know, the regular old cobblestone generator. Um, it's n nothing too fancy, just a regular old cobblestone generator. So that can work, I think. I hope <laughs> it should. And oh, this is going to be... Eeks. We don't have a lot of space here, so, oh. Okay, we're going to take a risky, different approach here, all right? This is going to be crazy. All right, oh, someone also said if I push F7, I can see where mobs will spawn. So, it's, you see here, a yellow line, yellow X means that mobs can spawn here at night. A red one means they can spawn at any time. So, there we are, we can light that up. Awesome. Oh, yeah, I can also right-click with my pickaxe to put torches down, I think. If I put it in this bar here, I can do that which is awesome. I think if I put anything in that bar, it uses the last slot. So that is really cool. So I can right click with my pickaxe to use the uh, item in my last slot, which is really awesome, I, th I would say. Um, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, we're going to put in some lava into this guy and then put water here. Now I have no idea if this is going to work or not, but it's worth a try. Let's actually put that back in. Let's do the water first of all. That's the safer one. Um, let's see, where's our water? There we are. I've got crazy amounts of water sources everywhere. And we're going to put this guy into here. And we'll get our lava, and I have no idea if it works on this diagonal angle like this, but we'll give it a go, and nice, it produces cobblestone here. We'll put in a hammer, and we'll left click with that. That will go into, that will break, and you can see it should go into the hopper, goes into the autonomous activator who does its thing. Nice. 
So it's not the fastest thing in the world, but it will do its job, and which would be pretty cool. Um, eventually, I think what's going to happen is that it's going to produce cobblestone faster than this can uh, sieve. So what's going to happen is that most of the cobblestone will just uh, get stuck in this lava and stuff and burn. Which would be okay for us, <laughs> because, yeah, we don't need all of that gravel. Anyways, it's time for a bit of a time lapse, because now we are going to make a brand new mob farm. Oh yeah, oh, and I wanted to use some new blocks too, so I'm gonna look into that. And let's build our new mob farm. So, I have finally completed it, um, yeah, half of that time lapse I did not, uh, record, because what happened was, like, a minute into it, what would happen is that the game would crash, and that was just really, really annoying. I just didn't like that, so I just gave up on the time lapse here, and just built it off camera, and as you can see, these are the spawning pads. So I expanded it out from the previous one, so we're making a few modifications here. First off, we've got 6x6 pads here, instead of 8x8, and that is cool. And then we also have this outline here, so that mobs can also fall into uh, here as well. So that is pretty cool. That should be plenty of spawning spaces. Now this time we're not going to use water because I've made this three high for Enderman. And to tr transport Enderman without using water, transporting all these mobs without using water in fact. Yeah, that's a tricky, um, tricky, you know, problem right there. So I was thinking about, I was looking into some Enderman, um, farm type designs and stuff and apparently there's this thing called a spawner oh well there's also this other thing there you just kind of saw but anyways there's an auto spawner from the mine factory reloaded mod and we can make it like so and basically we just need to capture an enderman which we can easily do because um we know how to spawn them in with the witch water and we get that put it in here and we can spawn them like continuously and I think that would be awesome later on maybe for an infinite power source but for now I think this should make do and um, to transfer them one method is by using conveyor belts and I was just looking into them and they're not too hard to craft so these are the conveyor belts you can have different colors in fact but they're also from the mine factory lo reloaded mod and to make them we need rubber redstone and iron so our automated uh, resource collection is going um, amazingly well uh, we've got lots of good stuff um, I also set up an aqueous accumulator here by our uh, igneous extruder um, the cobblestone producing thingy and basically it just gets water from these two water sources pumps it in here and then it pumps it into this igneous extruder in the side here which is needed to make stone so it uses up water to make stone so that is how I'm getting a lot of stone here which is very nice so we can switch between cobble and stone and that is pretty awesome now I also want to get rid of this uh, soon once we get this running but the thing is there's one extra ingredient we don't have rubber <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a, a problem. Let's let's just quickly check out our resources. That's looking good, very good. Oh, four diamonds, four emeralds. In fact, that's nice. And eight diamonds. Oh, that is good. That's really good. Let's just sort that out. And we, I guess we can sort that out as well. Oh yeah, I love the sorting ability here. That it just makes oh, things so much better. All right. Anyways, let's see what's in here. A lot of iron. Okay. Well, uh, what was I talking? Oh, rubber. Rubber, that's right, okay. To get rubber, we need rubber trees. And to get rubber trees, we need rubber tree saplings. And fortunately for us, I think we actually got some. Let's see, do we have it? Do we? Yes, we do. Rubber tree seeds. And that is awesome. So we can make some rubber, and we can use those to make conveyor belts, and we're going to use those to transfer for the mobs. And I would probably do the same spider sorting system here. And then we need to go down 46 blocks, which is annoying. 
Oh, what I also did is I made this a little closer. So we're going to have to lower our overall platform here. We're going to lower this um, a, a couple more blocks so that we're about that level there. And we're also going to have our basement there. So that's not too much of a hassle. It's a little annoying, but I'll have to move everything down a bit and so that we're out of range um, so that these guys can spawn on in. And that should be cool. Very cool. So I need to get some rubber trees. Let's actually do this on camera. Let's see if we can make some rubber trees. All right, I've got some bone meal too. Oh, I've got a stack in fact. And we, let's plant some down. All right, I've got some dirt in here. I've been stockpiling on a bit of dirt for this very moment. Actually, I want to kill these guys. They're clogging up the system here. All right, I also made sure to build this out of a magical forest biome. I used this here. Let's see here. Um, it's the biome overlay so I can kind of see which biomes I'm building in so the magical forest is the uh, the big blue ones um, there's there's a big good example of a map big zoomed in level you see those light blue ones those dark blue is the river and the light blue is the uh, what's it the magical forest and we don't want to build in that so our, our mob trap is just out of range of all of that you can see our previous one there is like a quarter of it's in the magical forest biome. So uh, I do want to do some stuff there, but I think we're going to try and avoid those areas for most of our farms. I don't know. There could be some special things about those areas I don't know about. Um, so that's part of the Thorncraft mod. I don't want to get into just yet. Anyways, let us make a rubber tree. Let's see. Where's a good spot? Maybe let's, let's choose right here. Okay. Can I do that? Yes, we can. Okay. And grow. Nice. Rubber wood, rubber leaves. Awesome. So this is part of the Mine Factory Reloaded mod. So let's get our hatchet here. Oh, and what does it drop here? It drops raw rubber and our rubber wood. Okay, so that's cool. Um, does it drop saplings from this? I don't know. All right, I'm a, I want to get my... Uh, let's see, let's quickly turn that into some juice. Did I accidentally step on something? Probably. Um, let's get our crook, which I think uh, enhances the amount of drops you get from... Uh, from rubber trees. Oh, any trees in fact. We get some more saplings. Nice. And do we get any rubber from this? Uh, from the tree? I don't think... No, I think it just drops more saplings and we get the rubber from uh, the tree. What? What the? Huh. Can be eaten to restore 10 hearts. Oh, that's nice. That's pretty cool. Alright, anyways. I'm getting distracted here. I want to farm some of these and then we can get to work. Man, I've been farming this rubber and redstone and iron for ages, and I just realized that you get 16 from this crafting recipe. Wow. Okay, so the conveyor belts are in place, and these look pretty awesome. Oh my gosh. Look at them. I don't need to apply any power or anything, and they just move on their own. So that is pretty cool. And I've got them going into the direction of this hole here. I haven't put those in yet because I get stuck on these. They are very difficult to go backwards on. See? Oh, I'm just pushing against these conveyor belts trying to jump my way. You can't even really jump on these. So um, anything that tries to escape out of these is pretty much in some bad luck. They get funneled here to the center, which is awesome. And we're going to use these as well to set up the uh, spider separator as well. This here will be using water, I think, like the previous one. But this is about ready to go, which is pretty awesome. I also need to set up the drop here. And then we can try out our new mob farm. Okay, and we're back, and let's have a look at our mob farm. Oh my. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh wow, it's accumulated quite a bit. Oh, we really need a muffler down here. Woo, wow, that is incredible. Um, First things first, I want to hook this up to... Oh man. Uh, Alright, let's get a sound muffler first. Okay, I did not see any interpearls on the ground here, which... It gives me a slight feeling that um, the some of the Endermen up there are getting stuck, which is not a good thing. We need to fix that. I really should fix that um, if we can find out what the problem is. And But now what I want to do is hook this up to a system where I can store everything. So my idea is we're going to use these things called item ducts. And they're kind of like hoppers, except for they're like pipes and... Yeah, alright. I don't know if these hook up to each other, so I'm going to try and get a hopper going into a hopper. And that is going to go into some item ducts. So we're going to have hopper there, so everything should uh, get into that hopper. Why is there nothing going in there? 
Are these guys dropping nothing? Wow, okay. So we'll get the item ducks here, and then they uh, will make it go up, and we'll g make this go into a few barrels here. So we've got one for gunpowder. We'll have, oh, uh, let's just move it. Uh, I don't know, okay, let's just go with that. So we've got gunpowder, zombie flesh, then we'll have like, uh, oh, we don't have string, we have like bones, arrows, and other stuff. Alright, let's go with the hats. Let's see, that should be enough. And so right now it's going into that. And oops, I did not mean to do that. Okay, let's put in bones. Then we have arrows. Then we have gunpowder. And then we have zombie flesh. And string is not necessary. We'll have an extra chest at the end though. And uh, do we have a crafting table? No. Oh, yes, we do. Yay! And then we can put a thingy there. Oh, wow. Wow, okay, let me, <laughs> all right, let's put that chest down, and we should be good. All right, so, now that we've got that system here, nothing's coming into here, as you can see. Uh, that's because there is one final thing we need to do with these item ducks. So you can see there's arrows, and this is means it's going to get the items and put it in, into this. However, this one here is going telling it to go backwards. So I think um, we have to uh, a pneumatic servo. No, I think we can use a uh, a crescent hammer, and um, we also need a lever, and then we can power that, and that's how we can change um, which way it goes. So let me grab those things, and we'll fix that up. Wait a minute! Oh no! Don't tell me I created two crescent hammers. Oh man, you guys are face farming, aren't you? Dang, created two of them. Wow, I am stupid. Okay, so we can do, oh, oh, okay. No, no, we want it to do that. And then I think we need to go behind here and power it. And now things should start flowing out, um, I think. Yes, 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 things are flowing out. They should go into all of our barrels. Nice, so this is now automated. Oh, we've got our string here. I've got to set up a place to collect the string, and we'll hook it up to the system over there as well. And it would probably be uh, smarter to use um, a vacuum hopper with all these stuff coming everywhere. But um, yeah, I just need some more. I need a few more ender pearls to do that. So we need to farm these endermen. Now I need to figure out what's going on with this, <laughs> with the endermen here, so that we can get some ender pearls down here. Ah ha ha ha! Fixed it. Finally, awesome. So, okay, can we, how do we put this in without it interpelling me? Ooh, okay, whew, that was close. <laughs> um, man, yep, did you hear that right there? Enderman. Yes, we have Enderman. Um, I fixed it, finally. It wasn't um, the craziest fix in the world. What was happening is that the spiders were clogging up up there, so I just adjusted the spider um, thing a little, and it seems to be working quite nicely. Now, all I need to do is I want to set up a vacuum hopper here, maybe hook this, that up to this system. That would be nice. Um, how do you make a, one of those again? It's kind of expensive, isn't it? Vacuum hopper. It's just... Oh, oh yeah, we can do that. We can make another one of those. I'll probably do that off camera. Now, before we end today's episode, it's probably going to be a long one, I feel. Um, look at the amount of mobs up there. You can see in the mini map. Look at how many are spawning there. If we just look up there, there are 82 mobs. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And this one here, that, that one's still spawning a couple of mobs in there. And But I'd like to um, remove that. I would like completely obliterate it off camera and I think if I get this other sound muffler bring it down there it should uh, quieten them down even more because they're still quite loud those those mobs right there anyways uh, let's put that in there and now there's another thing I want to do and it's with these oak barrels here so I want to take oh I should probably get the dirt out before I waste all of that I want to take these oak barrels down to the bottom and we're going to set up another automated system and that is an automated dirt system. Yahoo! Okay, so there are some more systems I still wish uh, to do. Um, I'd like to use these ender pearls and uh, set up that ender generator I was talking about earlier on. Um, I, there seems to be some other mob drops that drop from this, and I think maybe some actually 
like get stuck around there. Um, I know that bones and arrows will be fine because there are a lot of spider jockeys that can spawn on in, but I'm not too sure what the other ones are. Anyways, uh, we need a good place for string. Now, I want to hook up the, our rotten flesh to all our oak barrels here, and if we do so, we can set up an automated um, way of getting dirt. So down here, we'll go a little lower because, eeks, this is super dangerous though. Uh, and this is where we're going to set up our system. Actually, let's go one more block lower. Dang it, now I have to mine all this out. Okay, now this is super duper dangerous, but <laughs> um, I'll just create a little part around the ladder because that's like the an important part of this. Otherwise, we might fall off this ladder when we come back down here. And we want to find out where the barrel, um, the rotten flesh barrel is. And we're going to put a little hole here because we're going to... Um, oh, yay! What have we got? We got haste. More haste? I, I keep getting haste every time this levels up. That's ridiculous. Um, everything should pretty much die. I'm just worried about the Enderman though. They're, there's still a chance they might survive. I'm not too sure though. Alright, so we're going to hook up our item ducks here, and we're going to bring those down here. Alright, so at the moment there, they can't go anywhere because we've set it to input mode, so nothing should come out and spew everywhere, so that's good. That's the, that's the first thing we want to do. And now we want to hook this up to our oak barrel. So it's actually fairly straightforward how we can make an automatic uh, dirt composting area. So we're just making a bit of an area first of all. And then we just bring these down here and we put our oak barrels underneath. And wow, wow, that was really off. All right, grab that. And I, oh, I might just be out of um, item ducks to do can't really do too much because I need to make some more item ducks here. But they aren't too expensive. They're, they require tin and lead, which we have an infinite supply of thanks to our amazing uh, automated system up there. Let's see here. So we're doing a bit of automation already. So now we've got our item ducks. And that's going to put uh, all the rotten flesh into the barrels. Then we want to suck them out by using the item ducks again. And surprisingly, this actually works. I didn't realize that this would work until I, you know, looked into it. So... We create a chest here. Oh, we could create a barrel, I suppose. Um, a barrel could be better. Yeah, let's make a barrel. And let's put that right there. Now we should get some good dirt going. Ah, we need to set this to its mode first of all. We need to make another lever. And... Uh, <laughs> come on, make the lever. Wow, do I even know how to play this game? It's the other way around. Okay, and I think we could power that. Oh, wait, first of all, we need to switch it to... Um, output mode, and I think we can do this. There we are. And then we should get some rotten flesh going into there. Um, let's see here. Empty, empty, empty. It's empty at the moment. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. It's quite slow, actually, the item ducks, because we don't have anything fancy, but you can see right there, they're starting to fill up. Probably from this side, then slowly will fill along. And once we see that fully compose right there, then we should um, see that the... Oak barrel, all the stuff will come along here. Is that adding stuff? Yes, it's working. It's working. So now we have an automated dirt system, automated resource collection, automated collection of mob drops. Oh yeah, we're getting into the automation mood right here. Now we just need to get that automated power set up with our ender, uh, enderman here, and we should be <laughs> looking pretty fine, I must say. Well, we're going to get pretty far. So next time let's see what else we can do what are the crazy things and maybe we should go back to the main storyline the main quest anyways let's get uh well actually i should end it right there so thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye once upon a time a peaceful village was attacked by hordes of monsters